letting everyone know Marty that we Katz. are being <laughs> recorded in front of a live studio audience. Everything Marty, Ka Marty Katz is Rafi Sale. Marty, right. <laughs> why do you have my name on your... What the hell, Marty? <laughs> what do you mean, what? You've got my name. Oh my gosh, why do I have your name? Are you, are you, are you identi uh, identity thieving me? <laughs> no, I'm a, you're a ventriloquist and I'm the dummy. Well, that is not true. I just changed your name back <laughs> oh, to Marty thank Katz. You. I don't understand. Why, why did you have my name? What's going on here? Everybody wants to be Rafi Salem. Everyone wants to be Rafi. <laughs> Good morning, Marty. Hi, I'm, I'm Audrey. Uh, everyone that just came in, we are uh, live and recording. So I tell everyone this on every Zoom, always smile. Because if you don't smile and it goes up to YouTube, you're gonna be like, ah, why didn't I smile? So I'm telling you now, we're recording and you should smile. I am. Oh, Marty, yeah, I'm only talking to you. <laughs> this is, you know, ju just so that everyone knows, Marty and I have a, a show. We get paid a lot of money. Uh, it's shown on the major networks, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, and is definitely in Greenland. But it's only in Greenland. That's the only place it's shown. Greenland. Right? But, but what people don't know is that Joseph Katz and I, um, are actually connected a lot longer than Marty Katz and I. And yes, but there's no, there's Joseph no connection and I are between the two much, much closer connected <laughs> than you two. Joseph, I didn't hear you. I was going to say there's no connection between Marty Katz and Joseph Katz. No, no lineage connection. That's not true. You guys are both from the lineage really? of the Katz, uh, yeah. Kahanic High Priest uh, family. For another for another show maybe. Yeah. Now that's reputation management. Yes, <laughs> Roy. Roy, yay. Oh, oh. Yes. Roy, if you came in late. You're being recorded, and you must smile the whole entire time. This is an hour long Zoom session. No drinking, Marty. Just smiling the whole time. All vodka. Oh. <laughs> I want, I want everyone to know, because you can't get up there, I've got actually two, two thermoses, or mugs, or whatever you want to call it. So we usually play um, a version of Name That Tune, but this morning I am not playing a version of Name That Tune. Is that okay? Is that okay? That's good. Uh, all right. A little disappointing. Uh, right. Okay. You want to get started now? Nine thirty-four. We've got one minute, or forever hold your peace, uh, and then we're going to uh, we're going to start the show. Um, is everyone smiling? Everyone's smiling. I see everyone smiling. Okay, hey. good. I'm just looking around. You can see my eyes. Go looking around. Um, just so that everyone knows, we're recording and. Uh, this is going to be posted up to YouTube. It's going to be posted up at Kettle Space. It's going to be posted up um, at BizDev Leaders. And all right. Uh, thank you all for coming. Joseph Katz. Good morning, friend. everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Rafi. But before that, I, I know I see a lot of familiar faces, but I'll just give a quick intro to Kettle Space and what we do. So Kettle Space is redefining the notion of remote work by supporting people with productive workspaces near home, uh, along with resources you need to build strong connections, keep motivated, and trade value. Uh, we empower you to unlock the upside of remote work while avoiding the downside of work from home. Now, obviously, in, during this pandemic, most of our locations are closed. We would hope to be opening them as soon as it is safe. But for now, we have this virtual community where you can all enjoy all those benefits. Uh, so with that said, I will introduce Rafi, who I've known for close to over 30 years, I guess, at this point. So uh, I had hair back then. We are old people. 
Um, Rafi is a expert, I don't use that word lightly, in search engine marketing, reputation management, digital media, and all associated uh, fields that fall off of that. Uh, he, I have recommended him to companies that I've worked with and people I've done business with in the past, and it is a pleasure to have him present to the Kettle Space community today uh, how he looks. Um, but I think you look marvelous, but I'm not so sure about the people you're hanging out with. And with that, <laughs> take it away. Okay, I also wanted to acknowledge uh, Kettle Space. So thank you, Kettle Space, and thank you, Mac Meyer. He's like in my center square right here. Thank you for putting this all together. Um, so uh, a couple of things. Just going to go through, uh, we're gonna go through everyone in the crowd right now. We've got 30 people on the call and uh, everyone's gonna get the opportunity to introduce themselves because I don't like going to these Zooms where you don't, you don't know the people listening. Uh, I wanna know who's stalking me afterwards. You know, when someone shows up on your LinkedIn and said, this person looked at you. I'm like, how did this person get to me? Um, but uh, I encourage a couple of things on these Zooms. Number one, as you've heard, we're recording. So you should be smiling for the next 60 minutes. Just smile the whole entire time, okay? And one of you needs to fix your hair. And yes, it's you. Yeah, if you're thinking about it, you need to fix it. Um, so we're gonna go through, I'm gonna, give, um, I'm gonna give everyone 10 seconds and then we're gonna jump into the workshop. I'm gonna give uh, uh, an intro to what I do and how I do it. And then we have a whole entire list of volunteers. Um, one person, I won't name her, um, had volunteered originally and she said, I didn't realize uh, that this was being recorded for YouTube. Um, so she took herself out of the running. Uh, if, if anyone else wants to take themselves out of the volunteering uh, because it's being recorded, please let me know now. Now would be the right time to let me know. Otherwise, um, we're gonna go through your stuff. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna announce three names uh, just in the order that I have it. Uh, and then 10 seconds, who you are, what you do, 10 seconds. So first, Emma Itkes, David Clasco, Daniel Chu. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Emma Itkes and I work with Legal Shield, the leading provider for of affordable legal and uh, identity theft plans. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, David Clasco. It, it, it totally works much better I, when you take yourself off mute. I know, uh, you know, I could do it pantomime style, but um, <laughs> my name is David Clasco. I, I, I run Artly Working. We do virtual improv workshops and uh, for team building, learning development, and stuff like that. And hopefully one day, once again, in person, improv workshops. All right. Daniel Chu, Audrey Glover, Marty Katz. All right. Once again. Good morning, everyone. Daniel Chu, IT service provider here in New York City, focused on information security and data protection. Great. I'll also remind people uh, we do have a uh, we do have a uh, Google Doc for people to share their information. Uh, Mac, are you going to share that? Please share that now. Right now, it's in the um, it's in the chat. And the other thing that I encourage people to do uh, during these meetings is put your LinkedIn, even though you're going to put all of your information in the Google Doc, put your LinkedIn in the chat so everyone can just immediately click on you and connect with you that way. So Audrey Glover, Marty Katz, uh, Ami or Amy Minard. Good morning, everybody. I'm Audrey Glover Dicto, Glover Dicto PL, and I work with marketing professionals who need to launch legally compliant marketing campaigns in English and Spanish. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Marty Katz, and I'm the founder of Connectors 360. I'm a marketing consultant, and I specialize in branding and messaging that, as, that supports business leaders in developing sales leads. Thank you, Marty. Thank you for smiling also. You're, you're like the perfect smiler. Uh, is it Amy? Or both, Amy um, or Amy, both. All right, just as long as we don't call you late for the Zoom. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Ami Minars. I'm a producer and founder of Mission Nation. I produce Gypsy Jazz Flamenco and uh, Flamenco shows. Cool. Uh, Desi, Victor, Christina. 
Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. And uh, uh, what I do, I turn around burnout from executives and also bring the high performance culture in every company I work with. Thank you very much. Victor, Christina, Renee. Thanks, Rafi. Hi, I'm Victor Lee. Uh, and if you're working from home or out of the office and you need a fast and secure internet connection so you can stay on Rafi's uh, and, and Marty's uh, Zoom calls, uh, please let me know. We have a super hotspot app uh, that keeps people connected safely and securely. Thanks, Victor. Christina, Renee, and then Mac. Hi, I'm Christina. My company is Christina Lucia Teddy Bears. I design loveys and teddy bears as sensory toys to emphasize the love languages of children. Thank you, Christina, for putting them in your background, finally. Renee, Mac, Ken Lang. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Renee. I'm the owner of Yoga Connection. So we're a virtual wellness service based here in New York, and we specialize in corporate yoga and meditation classes. Mac, you want to yep. say hi? Hey, guys. My name is Mac, event coordinator for Kettle Space, uh, putting on events like these uh, to help our members out. Um, see a couple of our hosts here today. So excited for you guys to, to uh, learn from the master, Rossi. Thank you, Mac. Uh, Mac. Mac and I talk, not daily, but definitely we talk weekly about these things. And uh, Mac, I just wanted to thank you and thank Kettle Space for the opportunity. Of course. Thank you. Ken Lang, Roy Fenichel, Carlos Diaz. Hi, everyone. Ken Lang, your LinkedIn concierge. I will help bring your LinkedIn profile to the next level. And definitely take advantage of the recording aspect, recording your um, pronunciation as well as your marketing pitch on LinkedIn. Kenneth Lang, LinkedIn concierge. Good morning, Roy Fenichel. I bring clarity to the real estate closing process, and I'm a part-time roadie for the Rafi and Marty Show. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be full time next week. <laughs> you are the winner. You are the winner. <laughs> Carlos. Okay. Carlos Diaz managed IT services. We support small to medium sized businesses. Very good. Amy, uh, are, are you, do you have a video camera? Can you share? Or just voice? Amy Geffen. Yep, I can share. Okay, I'm starting the video. Okay. Okay, good morning, good morning. everyone. Amy Geffen, Geffen Careers. I have a five-step process to help you get the job of your dreams. I am not a recruiter. All right, I've got uh, Anita Rossley and Michael Beer. Okay, hi, everyone. My name is Anita Haralan, <clears throat> All Beings Yoga. Um, I specialize in working with folks who are recovering from injuries, have uh, mobility challenges. Um, I've brought my uh, practice on virtual now and work with folks one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. Great. Rosley, Michael Beer, and then Elizabeth Nicolosi. Hello, uh, Rosley here, lawyer working with startups. Michael. Good morning, Michael, Michael Beer. I, who do I, know? I know Joe Ka Joseph Katz, I know Rafi. We spoken many times in the past. I'm, an, I'm the go-to New York City traffic lawyer for traffic tickets, moving violations, speeding, red light, stop signs, trucking violations. Thank you. I'll be back in court on Monday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I mean, happy for you financially. Sorry about the other people that are getting the ticket. Uh, Elizabeth, Mark Teitelbaum, and Lauren Longus. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I work with the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, which brings awareness and raise funds for our wounded active duty military with the invisible wounds of war, traumatic brain injury, and post-traumatic stress. Thank you very much. Um, Hi, everyone. Oh, uh, Hi. Lauren, you, you're on. <laughs> I, I don't know if you have a uh, video. It's just your picture. I do, but in order to keep my 60 minute smile, I'm just gonna leave my photo up there. Ah. <laughs> He's smiling for the whole 60 minutes, but it's uh, nice to be here. Um, I have a COVID created company along with my uh, business partner. We're starting a, an event planning agency that's focused on connecting brands to consumers through thoughtful uh, storytelling and uh, solution-based strategies. Okay, so I, I got a message that Mark is offline. Does, does that mean that you don't have camera or you do? Uh, what about you, Ava Spoon? Are you are you able to share? 
if I start to share, um, I will lose connection. I'm already getting a uh, warbly sound, so I'm missing part of the conversation. So I can't do video and uh, audio. <laughs> so, All right. So just introduce yourself. Yes, that's been my story with Zoom the whole time with um, since this uh, plague has been among us. Um, my name is Avis Boone. Uh, I'm an actor and photographer, and I do um, different e a brand ambassador. I do different events, uh, which has all been halted because of COVID. All right, thank you very much. Um, let's see here. I've got a Vadim Zilberman, Leah Gurley. Vadim, are you? Can you take yourself off mute or off mute? And Leah. Hi, hi everybody. Vadim Zilberman. I'm business law attorney in New York, New York helping people mitigate risk, uh, corporate governance, growth, and all business. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And Leah Gorley? Hi, my name is Leah Gorley. I work with PrepCore, GMAT, and GRE Test Prep. We offer courses and individual tutoring and based out of Seattle, but accessible online via all over the world. Thank you very much. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss anyone? Going once. Going twice, sold. All right. All right. We have a winner. So uh, with that, I am going to share my screen. And let's do this. And let's do this. And let's start from here. And let's put it in presentation mode. That's not it. Okay. How do I look? Can you see my uh, Can you see my presentation? Yep. You're good. Yes. All right. So. Um, Thank you again. Well, uh, thank you everyone for coming. It really means a lot to me when people show up to Zoom. I'm not just saying that. I think that in this world of, um, of staying at home, working from home and, uh, and everything else, uh, that it's important to show up. Um, so I really appreciate everyone showing up. So um, last month I gave an introduction to online reputation management and we didn't have any volunteers or a workshop. Now this is morphed into uh, I'm going to give a little introduction. I'm going to breeze through my presentation, and then we're going to jump into the volunteers. If you have any questions during this time, um, send it uh, put it in the chat, and I will take a look at that um, momentarily. All right, so I'm um, just going to go breeze through this. Uh, who am I? What's the problem? What's Google's agenda? Uh, and why is all this so important? Uh, and then you're going to get a takeaway and a summary afterwards. So in order to get to know who I am, I could tell you who I am, but if you don't know who I am, you're going to Google me. If you want to do business with me, if you want to, um, uh, if you want to get to know me, you're going to Google me. So what are the first three results that come up? First three, first three results are um, my LinkedIn, which is super important, uh, BNI, is a uh, networking group and Facebook. So I'm very active on, on all of these platforms. Um, the next thing is uh, Harry, uh, my Twitter, a digital journal, uh, and then um, a, a former company and client of mine. And then finally, uh, Columbia Club, uh, Constant Contact actually shows up even though it says WikiLeaks, and then my videos. As you can see here, Marty Katz is on the call also. Rafi Sale and Marty Katz, biz dev leaders. So video is very important because it's part of YouTube. And who owns YouTube? Anyone? Anyone? Google. Google owns Google. YouTube. Google. So that's why it's really important for you guys to understand that. Now, that's just in the, um, that's just in the organic results. But if you have images, uh, I mean, believe it or not, I had hair 30 years ago when Joseph and I met. Uh, and if I don't want people to know that I had hair ever, then I'm going to want to curate all of my Google images. So you got to not only check out who's coming up in your organic, what's coming up in your organic search, but also in your images. And what is the problem? The problem is that companies, executives, and individuals are not always represented fairly or accurately in online media, meaning Google. 
Google and the media have their own agendas on how to, dis uh, on how to report news and display search results. So remember, Google's agenda is to make money, just like all of us. So they have a business plan, and their business plan includes advertising sales. And if they rope you into their whole entire ecosystem, eventually they're going to get your dollars. Um, so the question is, what is reputation management? And the answer is, whatever Google says it is. Who is affected by reputation management? Why is reputation management so important? Who is affected by it? What are the outcomes? And how are these outcomes measured? And just so that everyone knows, no one can escape the mighty Google. Every single business, whether you're large or small, B2B, B2C, everyone is, in, uh, is affected and impacted. Uh, that means all of your investments, your stock price, and even hiring. And the outcomes are more fair and balanced search results, more engagement with target audience, and increased sales leads. So that's why you want to pay attention to your reputation. And I want to give a shout out to my friend and partner, Marty Katz, for helping me with these slides. So do we think that things are completely out of control and left up to a random artificially intelligent Google algorithm? And the answer is no, we have more power than we think. So if we go back to my Google results, remember it's LinkedIn, my BNI, and my Facebook. I control those properties. Even though I don't own those properties, I still control those properties. So it's very important to Google yourself and then figure out what you have control over. Um, now, uh, in the past, in my first presentation, I did a search for Heron Wealth, one of my clients, and we went through all of their various things, what comes up, their website, their LinkedIn, press releases. And on the right-hand side, you will see, um, you'll see Heron Wealth has something called a knowledge panel. And this knowledge panel is either connected to your Google My Business or it's connected to your Wikipedia if you're a bigger company. And it's really important to understand that you can control what comes up on the page and you can control what comes up within the page. And if you don't control it, it will control you. You always need to know your competition and you always need to know what's on your second page. So if positive controllable content is hiding on page two, your goal is to optimize that content to come up to page one. Now, how important is SEO in all of this? Super important, because you not only want to optimize all of your listings, you want to optimize your website first, uh, how many backlinks you have, your sitemap, your, road, your robots, and we're gonna go into all this in the volunteer, in the workshop session. Um, and the answer is, if you have bad reviews, you've got to work with the system. You should never ignore bad reviews, whether it's on Yelp or Google or Facebook or Glassdoor, always work with within the sandbox and within the system. Um, this is a really important slide. Marty and I were talking about this. Your media and your online and your offline and your paid media is so important that you need to really focus on this content. Uh, and we're gonna get into this uh, a little more in a little more detail, but this is how important it is. Everything here affects your Google results. Uh, and then we, we go into the importance of uh, calls to action. Those are CTAs on your website. Does your website have these call to actions to allow people to um, call you or uh, elicit a, an interaction with you? Uh, and then the takeaway, I'll put this in the, uh, I'll put this in the, uh, in the chat. Uh, you can download your own questionnaire that will help you guide you through uh, everything that we're talking about. Uh, so in summary, we're going to go through everyone now. Um, understand the Google agenda, manage your own online reputation, create a digital marketing strategy. Your competition is already there and they're ahead of you, so it's important to get on top of that. Make sure your LinkedIn is tip top in shape. Uh, make sure your Google My Business is in shape. Uh, develop a strategy uh, and own and control multiple websites and properties. So thank you very much. That is the brief introduction. I'm going to stop sharing now. Uh, before I get into that, uh, before I get into the rest of the workshop, I'm going to go through the volunteers. Is anyone nervous? Is anyone nervous to volunteer? Does anyone want to quit while they're ahead? 
I'm not, I'm not hearing anything because everyone's on mute, but that's totally okay. And uh, here is uh, the questionnaire that I will share with everyone. Please download it uh, either now or later. Um, but the first contestant on, uh, on this call is uh, Renee Kennedy. Renee Kennedy, are you, are you there? I'm here. You're here. Are you nervous? Completely. Completely. Was not expecting to go first. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, I'm going to share my, I'm going to share my screen. And the way that I share my screen is by clicking on share screen. And can everyone see here we're in Google? Yeah, say, say yes, two, two yeah, thumbs up, good, thank you. Good. All right, Renee Kennedy, what am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna do? I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to Google you. Now you have a very unique, um, you have a very unique last name. I've never heard of this last name of Kennedy before. Has, has anyone else, uh, just give a thumbs up or uh, in the chat, just let me know if you've ever heard of the Kennedy last name. So uh, what happens when I, now I'm in Westchester, New York, Renee. Where, where are you physically located? I'm in New York City. You're in New York City. So look what happened. This is a really good thing. When I put in Renee Kennedy, just in my, just in my address bar, Renee Kennedy comes up. The first thing, as, as you should be able to see, is Renee Kennedy yoga. You see that? So that's really good. Congratulations. You win. Now, the next thing I want to show you is your uh, Google. Have, have you ever Googled yourself, Renee? Not in a long time, so this is interesting. This is interesting, you say. <laughs> All right. So uh, the first thing I'm going to take a look at is above the fold. This I'm, I'm working on a big screen here. Uh, and the first thing is Renee Kennedy. Now, how many Renee Kennedys are there? Any, anyone want to guess? So I don't know, but I'm going to think a lot. Now, Renee, uh, I, I'm doing this publicly and it's recorded, so good luck with your yoga practice. But uh, your first thing, is, yo your first thing is, is Facebook, right? And there are many Renee Kennedys. But is this you? Are you in Queens? It is, yep. Okay. So do you have control over your Facebook? Are you a Facebook user? I rarely use it. Okay, okay. You should know that if people are Googling you, they're going to your Facebook first. Yeah. That's, that's number one. Number two is, do you own ReneeKennedy.com? No, that no. is not me. So that makes sense. This is an attorney at law and you're a yoga instructor. All right, now, are you also a, an actress? No. Okay. Not. And are, are any of these pictures you in the, the images? This, the second one? Yeah. Do you like this picture? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, as you can see, once again, we're only going above the fold. Uh, and then this is a LinkedIn for someone else. Are you a, do you use LinkedIn? Are you a LinkedIn user? I do. I kind of just started using it again. I wasn't on it for like 10 years. Good for so you. Good for you. Fun. Now, so once again, it's really important that that people are going to look up Renee Kennedy because they want to Google you, but this is not you. This person is in Texas, right? Yep. So honestly, Renee Kennedy would be something that's important for you to uh, look at. Uh, and I would encourage you, do you, own, do you own Renee Kennedy Yoga by any chance? The domain um, name? I think I do. Oh, no, I actually, no, I don't own that one. Okay. On this call, while uh, right after I evaluate you and get into someone else, I want you to buy ReneeKennedyYoga.com. Okay. I just want you to buy it. We'll discuss what to do with it afterward. Okay. But all these other people are, are, are Renee Kennedy too, and they're being looked up. So now I look up Renee Kennedy Yoga, and this is more you, yep. right? Yep. So the first thing is, sportsinthecity.com. Is this your company or do you work for this company? No, that was, I was featured on their website at some point. Okay. So that, that's important. Now that's going to be positive, 
but do you own pre, uh, prenatalyogacenter.com? Is this you? No, I teach for them. Okay. Next, is this you on your LinkedIn? Yes. So now you're beginning to understand how important LinkedIn is to your whole entire presence. Because mm -hmm. we're not just looking up um, Renee Kennedy, we're looking up Renee Kennedy Yoga. And I want you to have control. You don't have control over sports in the city or prenatal yoga center. Although you've been featured there, I want you to show up in the number one spot. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is you've got this, um, you've got this Yoga Connection LLC. Is this your company? It is. All right. Remember how we looked before and we saw the Google My Business uh, knowledge panel? Mm -hmm. You need to get on top of your Google My Business because you need to have a whole entire panel here that shows you up. Yeah. All right. The, the last thing before I go on to the next person uh, is, because uh, I think you're getting the idea of what you need to do just in these few moments, uh, but also these pictures. So let's look at your images. The question is, are you happy with all these images and how they come up? Um, kind of, I mean, some of them, a lot of them aren't me. Um, one of them is very old. Yeah, so I understand. Some work, yeah. So, so just remember, you have control over everything that you see here. All right. Uh, any questions before we move on to the next victim? I mean, uh, volunteer. <laughs> Rafi, no, Rafi, Rafi, can, can, Rafi, can you explain how she has control over these pictures, please? Yes. So, I, as I was saying before, um, let's go back to uh, to the organic listings. Uh, when I look up Renee Kennedy Yoga. Uh, sports in the city and prenatal yoga are showing up and then your LinkedIn is showing up. These pictures are coming up in those websites. And if she had ReneeKennedyYoga.com or, or a, another domain name or another website where she had her pictures optimized, then, then she would be showing up. Sports in the city and prenatal yoga, they are tagging you in your metadata. These are all these are all technical words, which we can talk about later, but they're using, they're using your image and they're using the correct terminology in order to optimize to get into Google Images. You have that power too. You just need to control that place. All right, moving on. Thank you, Renee, for being a brave volunteer. Thank you. All right, next person I have is uh, Rachel Schaefer. Uh, is Rachel on the line? No. All right. But I do see Ami. Ami, are you still there? I see. Yes. I see there's yes. this. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I'm like looking at your model picture and uh, I'm like, oh, wow, you look fantastic. And then uh, you still look fantastic, but <laughs> you aren't moving. So, so first things first, what do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a producer for uh, Gypsy Jazz Flamenco and the Flamenco Show. Okay. So now, do people know you by your company name or, or your name name? Both. Both. Uh -huh. uh, and what is the name of your company? Uh, Mission Nation. Okay. When I tour, I use uh, Roots of Flamenco. Okay. So there are a lot of different keywords. This is why keywords are so important that if I meet you on a Zoom call, I'm going to look up Ami Minars. Ami, Ami Minars or? Minors. Uh -huh. Minors. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, so once again, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to Google your name. Uh, and how do you look? You look good. Like, right? You have a unique last name. Like, uh, you have a unique name. It's not like Renee Kennedy, who has a very, uh, very, very ubiquitous um, uh, last name. So it's a little more of a challenge for her. But you, you're in a good position because your name is just unique. So first thing is, are you a LinkedIn user? Is this your LinkedIn profile? Yes. Okay. And are you a um, power user? Are you a LinkedIn user? Yes. Good. How often do you post to LinkedIn? I have not posted after, uh, during the uh, um, COVID. Okay. Or I've been post a lot. Can, Ken Lang, can I can I recruit you to to uh, to to give a ten second answer as to should she be 
posting during COVID? Kenneth Lang, are you still on the call? You're still on mute? No, I don't see him. Um, but if he were here, he would tell you, it's so important for you to keep up your, your reputation. Okay. On LinkedIn during COVID. I don't care if there's a, another plague or, an, or another thing. I mean, I do care, but I really <laughs> want you to keep on, okay. uh, keep on posting. Because okay. you're, you have the number one spot here. Mm -hmm. The thing to do is not lose. Do not lose this number one spot. Okay. Uh, and people are going to it. The second thing is, are you an Instagram? Yes, person? I stopped doing it. I'm doing, uh, doing the core, I just stopped everything. Okay. All right. Enough stopping. More, <laughs> more posting. And then, and then the next thing is your Facebook. This is your Facebook. Yes. Right. And then there is um, Admission Nation. So this is the name of your company, right? Yes. So if I Google Admission Nation, so your your name your name is intact. You you pretty much own that. But what is Admission Nation? Admission Nation is your company, and sadly you are temporarily closed, according to your knowledge panel. Oh, I don't I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. You didn't know that. No. Uh, you mean you haven't been Googling yourself? No. <laughs> All right. So this is super important. Why would this say that you're temporarily closed? That, I don't know. So that is all within your Google My Business. Oh. Because that's what's feeding from this. But mm. you need to control this. Okay. You need to control it because people, you're, you're losing business. Of course, you're right. losing business during COVID, but you need to make sure people think that you're closed and it's super important for you to be on top of this. Right. All right. Getting back into Admission Nation, once again, it's a unique name. So Admission Nation, you're, you own the top spot, which is great. And contact. Now, who is Sarah Harberson? I have no idea. I have no idea either. But what you're going to do is you're going to continue posting at mm. Admission Nation so okay. that Sarah Harberson does not show up so that you have control over it. All right. I think, we, I think we have time for at least one more volunteer. Thank you. Uh, Carlos, Carlos, are you still uh, are you still with us? I am here. Yes, I am. All right. Are you are you ready? Are you are you ready? Absolutely. I'd be delighted. Okay. So Carlos Diaz, once again, I, I think Carlos Diaz is in terms of popularity just as popular, if not more popular, than <laughs> Renee Kennedy. <laughs> There's quite a few of us. Right, there's quite a few. Um, so, uh, so Carlos Diaz, you, we're not even going to talk about your name because it it's too much. You, you know, Rafi, the last time I Googled myself, it came up uh, alien abductee, <laughs> and I said, you know what, with my name, it's 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 not the catch. Okay, so let's talk about your business. What is sure. the name of your company? Vulcan Business Solutions. Vulcan as in uh, Spock? Yes. Vulcan Business Solutions. So once again, I look up Vulcan and it's because maybe it's because you and I have, have talked in the past and maybe I've looked it up before. But the good news is that as soon as I started putting in Vulcan, Vulcan Business Solutions started coming up. So that's a good, good start. So uh, let's take a look. So Vulcan, once again, I, the uniqueness of your name, when I first was starting up my company in the late 90s, I met with, uh, I met with a business mentor um, or advisor, and he said, the uniqueness of your name will help you not only on the web, but it'll help you legally speaking also. Um, so if I look at Vulcan Business Solutions, you're coming up number one. Now, uh, here's, here's a, little, a little tidbit about your about your website. You see how two links are coming up right now? Yes. There, yes. there is an opportunity for you. I'm gonna go to your website very quickly. There's an opportunity for you to have more links go up. Let me go oh. To have more than two links show up. And that, and that deals with search engine optimization. The way that it is, because it, you gotta ask yourself, why would your contact us and your company name show up over your services right so these are all questions uh, from a search engine optimization 
uh, perspective. And once again, in the advanced advanced workshop, we could talk, we can dive deeper and deeper, but uh, it just means that there's opportunity to op your, optimize your website uh, even more. And with Carlos, um, you're only Vulcan Business Solutions. Uh, let me ask you something, where, where are you located? Uh, Great Neck, New York. Great Neck, New York. So now, uh, as you can see, uh, Carlos is, uh, his knowledge panel is, uh, is up to date. So is this a correct address, Ken Bond Street? Yes, it is. All right, that's great. Um, there's a lot more that you could be doing in your Google My Business, but you, you, you win out of the last three volunteers. <laughs> you, you have control over this. I'm, I'm assuming you filled out this information and you-, at, you at, some yes. at some point. Yes. At some point. So you see here how your profiles say, uh, say LinkedIn? Yes. You have an opportunity in your Google My Business to actually put up all of your other social media profiles. Now, the other part of this is that it also says people also search for. So these might or might not be your competitors. Is Hackman, Tri, Stern, Business Performance, and Hasp, do you recognize any of these companies as your competitors? Not at all. So you have to ask yourself, why is Google showing these that they also search for here? And they might, they might be in the IT space and they might not. But the important thing is for you to even work on your Google My Business a little more. So knowledge panel, very important. So your website is number one. Your knowledge panel, I would say, is number two. But then what I love seeing is that your LinkedIn is coming up number two. How often do you post on LinkedIn? Uh, daily. Daily. Very good. Why do you only have 34 followers, Carlos? I have to look for more followers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the more followers you have, the more, the more you post, the more people are going to, uh, the more people are going to um, uh, help you and your business. It, it's a numbers we'll game. I'll follow you. Great. I'm sorry, David. Uh, I said we'll all follow you. Hey, Carlos, <laughs> put your LinkedIn into the chat and ha have people do it. Now this sure. is this is this is a new one for me. Why do you think Zoom info is coming? Why do you think? Why do you think this is? Oh. Why do you think this is coming up, your Zoom info? I have no idea. Okay, so people might think that this is related to all these Zoom calls. It's actually not. This has nothing to do with, Zoom, uh, with, with these Zoom calls. This has to do with Zoom being a business directory. There are a lot of business directories out there. Um, Zoom info is one, the DNB, uh, done in Broad Street, if you're not familiar. Um, it's super important to have all of your information on these directories, like the yellow pages and everything else, up to date, simply because they're going to show up. Now, what I would like to see, once again, this is above the fold. What I'd like to see, let's go back to your website. You've got Blogger, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn all at the top. So clearly, this, this is important to you. The other thing I want to tell you, uh, Carlos, is that if I have a problem and I need to call up my IT company, where's your phone number? Don't make me click on the contact us. I want your phone number to be right up here. That's okay. a call to action that you should, you should, that everyone should learn from in any business. Um, and then lastly, as I said, if you have your social media profile, so, so your LinkedIn is up there, that's great. But once again, you've got, Forget about Blogger, even though you might blog daily. Twitter and Facebook are really, really important for your reputation. And I want to see, your Facebook is showing up below the fold, so that's good. But I want to see your Twitter show up here e even more. So sure, that sure. means that you should be posting uh, more often. Um, Mac, Joseph, it's 10.15. Yeah. And... Um, we can take one more or we can jump into Q&A. What's, uh, what do you say, Joseph or Mac? I have a, there was one question that came through on the chat, which I saw, which uh, was kind of building on my question earlier about the images. The question was, I don't remember who asked it, so I apologize, was can you have an image removed from the search engines? Fantastic question. So let's go back to, uh, Renee had, had good, sorry, Renee. 
You're, you're my guinea pig for it today because you're a brave person. So Renee Kennedy Yoga, and this was also a good example. So uh, Amy, <laughs> Amy asked the question, Amy Geffen. All right, so uh, Amy, we, we, if you ask the question, Amy, I'm not going to look you up unless you want me to. So I can't, I, I can't see the whole, uh, the whole. That's, no, that's okay. Um, I've, I've searched myself and I do come up. Uh, I come up the first three or four names because I'm the only Amy Geffen basically in the United States. Uh, so I don't have a problem with that, but I do have a problem with some older photos I'd like to get rid of. So, so this is my question to you because this is re being recorded for YouTube. Do you want me to, do you want me to use you as the example right now? Sure. Go ahead. All right. So Renee, you're off the hook. Amy Geffen on the hook. So, Amy. so let's, so let's talk about this, shall we, Amy? Yep. Um, so we've got, this is, a, this is a YouTube. Do you like this picture and do you like the way that this is coming up? It's not great, <laughs> but these are, these are a lot of candid photos. The only one that's really old is the fourth one. Fourth from the left, that's very old. Th this one, okay. Yeah. So, so once again, using everything that we've talked about uh, so far in today's presentation, you have control over what comes up. Google, the, the answer to everything that we're talking about is, Google is, is like a river. They, it's, it's over and ever flowing. So if you can replace that picture with something more up to date, Google's going to be open to that. But if you take a look at, at everything here, so YouTube, so. How often do you post up to YouTube? How, how often do you create a YouTube uh, uh, video? I don't, I don't deal with YouTube. I'm on LinkedIn a lot. I do my own blog. I okay. post on LinkedIn and all that, but I don't have, I've not done YouTube. Uh, when I do webinars for other uh, organizations, they post them. Uh, they have them on their website and they post them sometimes. Okay, so this is super important. You're telling me that you don't use YouTube. But if you want this picture replaced, and I see that Amy Geffen, YouTube, um, over here, Amy Geffen, YouTube, Amy Geffen, YouTube, guess who, oh, once again, this was not a trick question from before, who owns, who owns YouTube? Right, Google. Google. So there's going to be a relationship between what people are searching, how it comes up in the images, in the videos, in the organic search, and my recommendation is number one, definitely, definitely posting up to YouTube. But this picture specifically, we can get it below the fold. I mean, it, it'll show up unless you call up the NYSSA and you say, hey, can you please take down my image? Or unless they replace it, or, or, or maybe they won't, they won't take it down, but maybe they'll say, hey, you can send us an updated picture. They might do it for you. Now, you, this also brings up an actually, uh, actually a, um, a more important question of what about legally? Legally, now, this isn't, it's not a terrible thing. It's not a terrible picture and it's not hurting you. But what happens when you do have an image or a listing that is hurting you? Uh, as I was talking before, um, the first thing to do is try to try to optimize and, and get rid of it. But if it's hurting you, you can take legal action. Uh, so number one is get a lawyer because I'm not a lawyer. Um, number two is have that lawyer send a cease and desist letter to that publication or to that uh, to that uh, website. And number three is if it's showing up on a big big brand name like Twitter or LinkedIn or something. Um, that's where the lawyers have to pull out the big guns and you might have to hire a, a bigger law firm. Um, but those are the three things to think about. Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you very much, appreciate it. Rafi, I have another question here in the chat from Audrey yes. uh, Glover Teacher. I yes. hope I pronounced that right. Apologies Audrey, who it. happens to be a lawyer. Um, the question is, does it matter if my website comes up first and LinkedIn second? Does it matter? Uh, so, uh, Audrey, uh, you want to take yourself off mute? And did you did you put yourself in in here? Are you in here? Can we look up your website? Yeah, you can look up my website. And I did 18 for high, and um, 
Yeah, I while you were talking, I did a incognito search on Google. Yeah. And like you see, that's my website, that's my LinkedIn. And yeah. this is a, a podcast that I did with Kelly. And yep. here's my Florida bar. And all of these I tried to correct. Um, but, you know, some care, some don't, some, you know, doesn't matter how many times you try to correct it, it doesn't work. Right. Um, but at least the first four um, are pretty good, okay. I think. So you um, tell well, me, you're well, the expert. <laughs> well, I, 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 what, what was your very specific question that you wanted to know about? Well, you were talking about LinkedIn being good coming up first, but if my website comes up first and my LinkedIn comes up second, th does that make a difference? Yeah, in it makes way? a huge difference. You have 100% control over your website. You do not have one. You have, you have control over your LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. but you do not have control over LinkedIn.com. So it's always, always, always ideal to have control over your website and to optimize your website for that to come up first. So you're, this is in the correct order. Oh, okay. Yes. So um, I'm doing something right. Yay. You're doing, you're doing a lot of things right. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, and um, thank you very much uh, to everyone. This is, um, this is the final wrap up. Uh, the time is now 10.22. Uh, and attendees, um, you could share anything in the chat and you can um, join us. Uh, I'll just a couple of announcements. We're gonna be doing this monthly now. The next workshop is August 20th. So um, Mac, is that sign up ready for, uh, to be put into the uh, into the chat, it will be shared. Everyone will get uh, after this uh, with that event, right? RSVP. So if okay. we didn't get to you this time, uh, we'll, we'll get to you in, uh, the next one. Yes, uh, definitely. So um, so that's number one. That uh, we're going to be doing this monthly. Uh, a couple of other things. Kettle space. So another another plug for kettle space. Uh, where is the link to Kettle Space events? Can you put in, I think it's kettlespace.com slash events. Matt, That's can correct. you put that into the chat? That's it, yep. Yeah, so w there are a lot of great events. Kettle Space, um, Kettle Space was the answer to co-working space, the, to, to low cost, inexpensive, affordable um, co-working space. And Joseph, uh, one, once again, during COVID, uh, what's, what's the plan for people uh, for Kettle Space? Well, we were hoping to open up uh, soon, as soon as New York City allows uh, indoors uh, for us to go into the locations we were working out of. So that'll probably be uh, within the month, we're hoping. Uh, but right now we have the virtual community, which everyone's invited to. The events are part of it. I see a number of our hosts from other events here, which is great to see as well. Uh, we have a Slack channel. We have a directory where people can search for other members to tap for resources and um, get help on projects, uh, ask for favors, uh, et cetera. We know that uh, in Rafi, I, I was introduced recently to someone in the community uh, to potentially work on a project together. So it's, uh, it's a place to make connections and get work done. Very good, thank you. So um, uh, another thing that I will, uh, another um, uh, group uh, that I run, uh, I'll just give a little plug. Uh, and that is to my partner, uh, Marty Katz, for our biz dev leaders. Not only do we do, we do these workshops on uh, reputation management, but also branding and messaging. Um, so uh, we'll take a look at that. And Roy Fanishel, who is also a good friend of mine, um, Roy Fanishel is the president of BNI Chapter One. And if you would like to visit us, please. Um, we meet on Wednesday morning. So BizDev leaders. So Kettle Space has something going on every day, um, I believe. So definitely get involved uh, with Kettle Space. Um, but uh, my BizDev leaders with Marty Katz, that's on Thursday mornings. And BNI with Roy Fanishel is on Wednesday mornings. 
There are a lot of other great groups out there. Audrey and I are in, are in a number of other groups together. Uh, and I'm highly recommending, once again, get together with people on LinkedIn, get together with people on Kettle Space. There's all Slack, very, very active uh, Kettle Space Slack channel that people should take a look at. Uh, and there is, uh, later today, there's a workout and a book club. Um, so take a look at uh, in, in Kettle Space. Uh, with that, uh, I'm going to thank everyone. It's 1026. We've got four minutes left officially, um, but I, I, I'm, glad we, uh, I'm glad we finished up on time. I, I would say, I, I would ask Joseph and Mac, do you wanna do a breakout room for, for three minutes or, or leave, leave, it, leave it right here? Uh, if I could actually just say, uh, if everyone, I just posted a link in the chat uh, for a survey. If you could just copy and paste that link into your browser and fill that out after the event, that would be awesome. We're, we uh, we need, need the data. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. Uh, if, if anyone has any questions, maybe Rafi, people can uh, just quickly ask, uh, ask some questions in these final couple minutes. So, so that was an ixnay on the breakout rooms, nay? <laughs> that was an ixnay. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't see any other questions. So, uh, but I do want to thank everyone. Uh, obviously, um, there's a lot of privacy that has to do with reputation management. So, some people, um, some people don't necessarily want their uh, laundry to be aired. Uh, but I do uh, thank the volunteers that uh, that were able to brave it up. And uh, Audrey, I see your hand is up. I don't know if you're saluting or waving, or I can see you're nodding your head, but you're on mute, so I can't hear uh -huh. you. No, well, I'm not saluting, but doing privacy law, they are, depending where you're from, you can ask for certain things to be taken down under the new, like CCPA, GDPR, SHIELD Act, you have the right to be forgotten or to take things down. Any questions, I, let me know. Yeah, definitely. Once again, I can help you with your reputation online digitally, but if there is something that is negative and really hurting your business and hurting your reputation from a legal perspective, definitely talk to a lawyer. Uh, definitely talk to Audrey. She is the expert in the advertising law um, space. Um, but otherwise talk to any other lawyers uh, that might give you guidance uh, if it's not specifically for advertising law. Okay, uh, I think that's good. I think that's a wrap. So thank you very much. And uh, I will see you on August 20th for our next, for our next uh, workshop. Thank you, Rafi, appreciate your time. All right. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming. Yes, don't forget to say cheese on your way out because that is the <laughs> um, that's the that's the capture that we're going to have uh, when we put up the picture. Cheese. cheese.